Welcome back to the channel, everybody. First of all, I'd like to apologize. You might hear that my voice sounds a little different. And we have, um, I guess, a cold that's running through my household right now. I feel absolutely fine, but I sound like garbage. So, with that in mind, today, I want to talk about the BP. Now, if you haven't checked it out, check out the unboxing video and any other videos related to the BP that I have on my channel. This is a device that I've been looking forward to for quite some time. And you can see that I've got a 3D printed case on it. Thank you to Nizza420 on YouTube. He lives nearby and was kind enough to print a case for me. But what is BP? Well, taking a look at their website, BP is a portable computing device with beautiful high contrast, high resolution display, and a tactile keyboard and touchpad. It is the ultimate everyday hacking gadget. This device is powered by a Raspberry Pi Zero W, which is mounted right here, which is mounted right here, and it's got a, a lithium ion battery that came with it and has USB-C charging, a power port there, a programmable button that I haven't quite figured out yet. A front-facing LED. There's your spot for the SD card for your Raspberry Pi OS. And the outputs for the Raspberry Pi. Powering it on. Now, while it powers on, you might be asking, well, what does this device actually do? Well, it kind of does whatever you want it to. It has loaded on it the Raspberry Pi operating system, but it's the command line based version of it. There's no GUI, so you don't get um, a start menu with your programs and your applications and things like that. If you want this to work, you have to program it to do what you want it to do. The BP was created by Eric Migakovsky. And if that name sounds familiar to you, he's also the person that created the Pebble smartwatch back in the day. This device is designed at present to be a dev kit. That means that there's an ever growing population of people who have this device and are programming it, modifying the programming on it to make it do what they want it to do now in my case i've got the ability to run a couple of programs let's get that in focus there so far what i've been able to do on this device is i've been able to install a music client and a game called snake I've got a clock that you can install on here so you can see the time and a weather app. So if I were to type in dot slash weather and let it autocomplete, I will get a text-based version of the weather. You can see here there's patches of fog. It's currently 75 degrees. The wind's blowing at four miles an hour. And as of now, the failure writing output to destination is completely normal to see. So another thing I've been able to do is install a game called Snake. And this is a very, very simple game of the classic Snake. You can use your WASD keys to move the snake. And he eats the apples, and as he eats the apples, he gets longer. Now, any of you who used to have a Nokia phone will be very, very familiar with this game. This has provided quite a bit of fun for me. And it is super hard playing this game while watching this on my monitor. Another thing I have is called Talk. And I've created little uh, bash files on here so that I could modify the strings to open these so that they 
appear here. Now, if I were to just run talk by itself, you see it's all garbled. So I just made a little program to run it properly. Now, another thing I've been able to do with the BP is I've been able to use the Bluetooth feature on the Raspberry Pi to connect wireless headphones. I've been able to run a program called btman.sh. And what that does is it starts my Bluetooth connection. And you can see here that I've got the Palm Buds Pro, or Palm, yeah, the Palm Buds Pro. So I can say connect there, connect. And now I have a connection to these headphones. Well, what good will that do? Well, I can also come in here and run this program called Music on Command, which is a command line version of, of an MP3 player. And then from there, I can tell the BP to play music. You can see here that it's playing. And we are listening to music on the BV. Now, all I have to do from there is hit Q and we're done. So that, in essence, is just a couple of things that I've been able to get the BP to do. I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but as this is a dev kit with a with an ever growing population of developers and modders and hackers. It's a work in progress. So if you like what you're seeing here, stay tuned to the channel because I will be doing more with this device. If you are interested in a BP, you can order them straight from their website. This is what the device looks like without a case on it. And what you will get in the box is the display, the tactile keyboard, and depending on what your purchase is, it will include a Raspberry Pi. Mine did not because I had two Raspberry Pis sitting in the house. So if you order that, you can go through the documentation, install your software, install the firmware for the keyboard and the power management. And then from there, you'd want to join the Discord follow them on all their social media. And the Discord channel is absolutely amazing. There are so many developers on there making programs, modifying drivers, and just making this device much, much better. But it will do anything that you can do from a Linux terminal, and it's portable. So it's been a lot of fun so far. If you guys have any questions about this device, please leave it in the comments down below. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video as much as I have making it. My name is Bryant. This is Reviews for Nerds. Have a great day.